to my channel. So today I'm in the bathroom and I am going to film a updated hairstyling video. This is just how I've been doing my hair recently and uh, how I've been blow drying. I still am kind of going for that blowout look. So that is involved in today's hairstyle video. I have here my Dyson Airwrap, which I recently bought and have been practicing almost every week. Um, whenever I wash my hair, I tend to use the air wrap and it's different attachments and playing around with it getting good at it so I can come on here and show you guys how I've been using it I know it's a hefty buck you guys it is an investment but I was going for that blowout look like so often and I was still struggling with it and upon researching and seeing videos online I just had to tell myself that it was time to get it so I saved up some money and got it and honestly it was worth it and I tell my friends all the time what a good purchase it was because I do use it so frequently so here I am today teaching you guys how I've been loving my Dyson Airwrap and you can totally totally utilize other similar heating tools I know Revlon makes a good um, air drying brush or I also recommend and uh, telling myself to jump on that rollers it can be heated rollers or just normal rollers which can be really cheap on Amazon or honestly any salon store anywhere just to achieve the look that we're going for in today's video which is a blowout look voluminous everything so right now my hair is clean I just washed it this morning as you guys saw and I definitely like to go for this in the morning so it is good and set for the rest of the day and it lasts longer but anyways it is probably all air dried right now just because I was doing other things and of course putting makeup on to film this video but otherwise it would be wet right now and I would go in with the blow dryer to dry out most of it and then I go in with the routine if you want to know my hair type, it's pretty much kind of frizzy straight to wavy I brushed it really straight, but usually if I try to scrunch it up, it'll become kind of wavy It is very frizzy in the back. I used to have curly hair. I think two C, but uh, I did a lot of keratin smoothening treatments that honestly I did not know the name of. I'm so, so, so sorry. A lot of you ask me all the time the specific name or salon that you guys can go to, but I just got it done with the, like Brazilian hairstylist and these treatments are from Brazil. A lot of them are. So anyways, enough babbling on. I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you guys my blowout routine. Okay, so here's a quick lesson. This is the on and off button. If you push it up, it blasts cold air to set your curls. This is the speed and this is the temperature and I always set both to max. Now that you guys know how it works, starting off, I work on my hair from the bottom half first and I grab a portion like this to wrap around the brush attachment and blow dry my hair. I blast it with cold air for five to 10 seconds to cool the curl off and set it in place. And as you can see, it's so smooth and curled at the ends. I like to have the bottom section of my head always styled away from my face. So I roll the brush outwards, but also make sure to brush well on both sides. So there's no frizz 
dress but more of an airbrush volume it's so much easier to section off each piece so you can work on that piece of hair very well and make sure you have it all brushed out it takes me about 30 minutes to do my whole head because i'm a sloth and because i'm making sure to work the brush through every nook and cranny if i do it well this hairstyle can last me three to four days and look amazing the air wrap is less damaging to your hair because it doesn't use direct heat it uses air so it's healthier and it leaves your hair so smooth here is the side all complete and it looks exactly like a salon blowout but it looks so achievable and easy with the dyson air wrap because it's so user friendly to just hold and brush out the hair i'm moving on to the other half of the bottom portion and doing the same technique working in sections brushing the top and bottom of the section but always blowing it outwards um, from my face with the piece closest to my ears um, and a face i brush under a lot of times so there's volume and bounciness on the roots I tackled the top half last, so I'm putting it away for now, and we're gonna skip over because it's the same technique, just instead of brushing outwards, I like to brush it inwards towards my face for that classic salon blowout look. Lastly, I do like to blow out my crown or the top of my head one more time to give it more bounciness and uh, volume to the roots. I grab the hair in the middle, so grabbing from both sides of my middle part and uh, brush it back and forth so it doesn't fall flat. Now for my curtain bangs, the easiest thing to do is to just use a straightener. I sometimes use the wrapping attachment from the Dyson and that works out really well too when I'm in a hurry. Um, but with the straightener, I slightly bend it outwards and it's so foolproof and it turns out perfect every time. Sometimes I stop here if I don't have any more time or no plans, but sometimes I want to go the extra mile. So I've been playing with these curling attachments and these things are brilliant. This is what I was talking about that I use for my bangs sometimes. It's these two barrels that wraps around it clockwise or counterclockwise. They give you the most amazing bouncy big curls that are stunning and honestly you can only get with this or rollers. I think because it styles the hair with air and not direct heat i'm starting off on the crown of my head and wrapping the hair around the barrel so that it curls towards my face like so and you don't even need to hold it in place it even wraps the hair for you all i'm doing after is setting it with a little hairspray and moving on to the next section and as you can see it adds beautiful curls I just add some here and there but not to every piece and always making sure to curl the top half inwards and the bottom half outwards. Last step is to add some shine and nourishment to the hair after all that blow drying and pulling. So I'm going with this Heritage by Mindy McKnight Smooth It Over Argan Oil Elixir. It's non-greasy, restores, strengthens, and is vegan, cruelty-free, and basically everything free. I'm loving this brand and it makes my hair look so healthy. I mean, you guys can see for yourselves how the Dyson and all these products give such a stunning professional blowout that I've been loving recently. Recently. So you guys have been updated. This is my everyday hair routine. I hope you all enjoyed it and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Bye